When we so. remove the federal forest from our economy, we sort of get a double whammy. We um, go from having you know, a strong economy and jobs and resilient community to a community that is in need, that costs money. So we not only aren't producing you know, economic strength, we're actually drawing off the state to support our communities when we take away the federal forest and the jobs and, and that strong community that we have here. It's a bad time to take the forest out of the equation of our local economy and social needs in this uh, in Josephine County, when the county's broke and uh, it has a hard time supporting itself, it can't raise taxes, uh, ha hasn't got a subsidy from the U.S. Treasury anymore in lieu of timber uh, timber harvest, um, we're in a world of hurt if we can't generate revenues in this county from some reasonable source. That source is is the resources that are abundant in our backyard. That's timber, and uh, doing it responsibly and sustainably, it makes total sense. And if, um, if we can't get that formula right and get public support for it, I don't know what's going to happen. This county is going to have a hard time surviving. Without jobs, people aren't able to take care of their families and take care of themselves like they used to. And people don't want, people I know here don't want a federal subsidy to help, our, you know, help us out. They want to work. They want to be proud of what they do and they want to have a job. The, as long as the federal forests are off limits for timber production, we're receiving subsidies from the federal government to help out our community. That only gives money to the counties. It doesn't create jobs. It doesn't create products. It doesn't create pride. And it's just not enough. Plus, it, I don't think it'll last. Eventually, people in other states are going to say, why are we giving Oregon the subsidy? We, we need them to stand on their own. And, it's hard to do when most of your um, land base is federally owned. Right here where our sawmill is, the forests around us are 80% federally owned. So for us to try to keep our mill going and keep employing the 90 people who work here, we're having to travel long distances, two, 300 miles away to bring logs in from California and places. And we've tried to be creative. We'll backhaul logs on a lumber truck that goes to the Bay Area. but. That, that doesn't work, all, you know, it doesn't provide all the products that we need. So not only are you going two or three hundred miles away to get logs and having a hard time competing, we are using fossil fuels to drive the log trucks to California to bring those back. We used to source probably, well, over 90 percent of our, of our timber supply came off of federal lands back um, before uh, well, 20 years ago, 90% um, came off federal lands, the Forest Service and the BLM, and that's uh, completely dried up and gone away. While we're situated in a valley that's 80% owned by the federal government, um, we buy very little timber from the federal government uh, to run this operation. Like Jennifer said, we are going long ways away. It doesn't make environmentally make sense to go so far away and burn so much energy to bring a resource back to this mill that's right here in our backyard.